he left a legacy that we can still enjoy with AEW now. I think we both think a lot of Brian Jr. in AEW. And, uh, of course, you got to spend, and here's the sad tragedy of it all, because Brian was so young, you got to spend a lot more time with Brian than Brian Jr. did with his own dad. And yeah. it's a cautionary tale, man, for, you know, how fragile life can be. Oh, absolutely. I get emotional thinking about it. It's just very few times on this show. Like the red ass JR popped out every now and then. Yes. Yeah. We both laugh about, yeah. but, but golly, this is just, this show today's heart because I just keep remembering, I feel things, I sense things. I sense that, you know, he's kind of looking over my shoulder, monitoring what I'm saying. Uh, but I love to go back. He just appears, he couldn't help. He, he, his, his, his enthusiasm, Conrad, was infectious. Yeah. It really was. He just, unfortunately, Every story does not have a happy ending, and our tomorrows are never, ever guaranteed. And we found that out. Uh, this, that's that struck close to all on this situation, especially. Because I, I love the guy. I, you know, he and Austin are probably my two closest, or I got a little too close, maybe. Uh, tried not to let it affect my decision making, uh, and it, it also uh, my relationship with Brian. I think helped me establish a even stronger relationship with Steve. Well, Steve and Brian are like brothers. And when Steve saw me trying to help Brian in every way I could, Steve would get fresher than Brian because Brian was hard headed, stubborn. So it was uh, the most challenging time of my managerial career was trying to decipher what the hell I could do to help this kid and help the company. I didn't have the answer. 